I mean, like I said, guys, this burning of the Quran, even though you're not burning the Quran here, they were burning masahif of the Quran that had not been verified, that had not been checked. It's very simple, guys. These were the Sahaba. I don't know how someone could look at this and think, oh, the Quran is not preserved because of this. Uthman, anhu, the Khalifa, a Hafiz of the Quran, along with a committee of Hafad, all sat down and penned, put together Masahif that they verified and checked. And anything that anything else which they hadn't checked, which they hadn't verified, to be sure that there wasn't any confusion, was burned. Because it's, Islamically, that's how what you do when you want to dispose of a Mus'haf properly, right? With good intention, of course. It's not the same as if an Islamophobe, for hateful, insightful reasons, wants to come and set a Quran on fire. Obviously, we judge people by their intention, right? So it's absolutely childish to make a comparison. Now, somehow, I mean, guys, imagine this. Imagine if the companions of Christ, if we had authentic sources that di- that document documented to us of the companions of Christ coming together, putting together the New Testament, and then getting rid of everything else that wasn't verified. We would say that's very strong, powerful evidence because the companions of Christ at that at that point have come together and agreed upon a text. They've all memorized it or they've all mastered it or whatever. They've all come together and put together a couple of copies, all agreed upon. I mean, these are the companions of, or I guess if we're talking about the Prophet Muhammad, the companions of the Prophet Muhammad. These were these weren't just random people, Muslims who lived 100 years later, 200 years later. These were, I mean, who else? I mean, Yemeni, I'll ask you again. Who better than the companion, other than the Prophet himself, he's passed away. Who better than the companions to dictate to us what is authentic of the, what is inauthentic yeah no, no one is better I, I do want to correct um one of the brothers in the in the chat um, brother yusuf says all the companions were half it this is not true yeah, that's not true um yeah. m- yes many of them were but to say that all of them were this is uh not true there were thousands of companions it'd be impossible to uh, that, that's no that's that's no but then we, we have the names of many but I'll, to say that to say all of them were would be a uh, a stretch of the truth but no but, but but the point is there were so many there were so many hafad and of course many people who memorized different portions of the quran as well so just because you're not a hafid doesn't mean you haven't memorized parts of the quran uh one one of the uh things that over the years when you hear this specific argument about the burning of the quran they say well the quran was lost because you've burned everything um they actually forget to read on in the hadith where it says that the First of all, the, the codex of the, the codex of Uthman, or the codices rather, of Uthman or the what was the source of it? What was its source? It's just thin air. They pulled it out of thin air, right? They just they just pulled it out of thin air. They just they, they I, I guess you know what they did. They took all the manuscripts on the, 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 the Masah, They just went like eeny, meeny, miny, mo, right? That's what that's what the companions did, right? It's right, Yemeni? <laughs> no, yeah, pretty much, yeah. Uh, no. Um, there was a base for it. Now we're all familiar with the fact that they took, uh, man, uh, you know, uh, uh, written copies as well as two reciters and everything. But that was a that was an added layer of preservation. The base of it was the codex, uh, the codex of Abu Bakr, radiallahu anhu, which was with Hafsa, radiallahu anhu. Right, right, right. That was the base. It was taken out, right? Used to form this uh, the new uh, codification, as well as the added layer of uh, you know authentication, and then it was given back to her. So when everyone when when these people say that oh it was only his copy that existed, no. First of all. It can't have been because then they go on to quote other sources that we will get to later in the video. So I'm not going to speak about them now. But in this hadith one of its own, there's already a second uh, copy that exists. Right. One that preceded it. A, 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 a one that, right, a preceding copy that came mm-hmm. obviously from the codex of, uh, from the codification. In fact, the original. In fact, it is the original compilation of the Quran. Right, right. That still existed. So this idea that it was only Uthman's uh, codex that came, you know, 30, 40 years after Uruswa, and that's it. That's all that was left. No, 
In fact, there was an original compilation that was around six months after the death of Otto Suarez. So, so, so awesome. I, I even one time, this, this is actually hilarious. One of my um, one of my favorite YouTube shorts I ever made was basically this ex-Muslim in the streets is like the Quran you have today wasn't even compiled for a hundred years after Muhammad, peace be upon him. I was like, okay, cool. I guess Abu Bakr as Siddiq was over a hundred years old when he compiled the Quran, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. So kind of maybe and the rest of the companions along with them, right? I don't know. Uh, I, can't, like I can't do these um these okay. like when I'm doing these TikToks and I see these um uh, you know, really bad arguments. I don't even bother doing a response to them. I, I just can't I, do I, it. I, I, at that point, it's more for comedy. At that point, if I, if that makes sense, it's, it's more just it's it's just comedic. I just don't, I just don't want to entertain it. Even on, on fair a, enough. No, fair favorite. enough. It's just, I just can't. well. Here's the thing: if you actually watch the short, I didn't. I, I I the first thing I did was like I just did a facial reaction, and then I purposely threw my phone down while recording to make a scene. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, it's <laughs> I, it's I, unfortunate. Like. I, I, you know what, I do get a kick out of it. But anyway, let's uh, let's continue. So, in a nutshell, this hadith doesn't actually disprove the, the Quran's uh, uh, authenticity. It actually reaffirms its authenticity that the companion Uthman and, and, and the rest of the companions verified the Quran and destroyed, burned. I'll, I'll use this, I'll use blatant terms like this if, if it helps. If it want, the missionaries want to, they burned, got rid of, destroyed everything else that wasn't verified, that wasn't checked. Now, now, if the Christian missionaries want to insist, well, well, no, 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 but, but well, well, what if the companions made a mistake? What if the companions maybe, maybe, I don't know, but, but, you know, how do you know that nothing else there was lost? Well, according to the companions of the Prophet Muhammad, nothing, nothing was missed out and everything was, everything of the Quran was included in their Masahif. Now, you want to say that all the Hafad and the companions of the Prophet Muhammad are wrong and you somehow want to have this, this, this hope, this false hope that the Quran was actually secretly corrupted while... Well, I mean, that's that's called that's that's called blind faith, right? 